Hi, my name is Sarah. I am 31 years old. I'm a first time mom uh, living here in Saanich and I'm about 32 weeks pregnant. That's around seven months and I'm still cycling. It was pretty aggressive. Um, you would normally find me outside on evenings and weekends in full spandex kit on my racing bike training for rides anywhere from 50 up to 150 kilometers. Uh, during the weekdays, I would commute into work, um, but because I had a very aggressive cycling style, every kilometer was a training kilometer, so I was always pushing myself to go faster, harder, better. Uh, that's not possible now, so I've switched to a completely defensive style. Safety is my number one concern, and success now looks like just getting on the bike. I don't think I ever considered not riding while pregnant. Um, I, I knew that I wanted to continue doing it. I did make sure to get permission from my midwife before I started, um, but for me now especially, continuing riding during pregnancy is so important uh, for me, both for my physical health, but mostly for mental health. I just feel so much better and more centered and grounded after a good bike ride. And when pregnancy hormones are a crazy roller coaster, that is very important to me. So I'm gonna keep going as long as I can. Really easy. Uh, I, I asked her if I was still able to do it, if it was still safe. And she said that so long as I felt safe doing it, that I was fine. Um, just to make sure that I, I was listening to my body and only going as far or as fast as I felt comfortable to. But because I was a fairly experienced cyclist, it was fine. In some ways, it's a lot easier now. Um, I, I don't get into full spandex kit anymore. I wear generally fairly stretchy, comfy clothes now. So if I want to, I can just hop on the bike and go. Uh, in other ways, it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, I have to bring extra snacks, to bring extra water, um, plan my routes around bathrooms because pregnancy bladder is a thing. But overall, it's quite a bit easier. I can just get up and go. I have had to change bikes completely. My, uh, my other two bikes have drop handlebars and when I'm forward in that drop handlebar position, there's just not enough room for my knees and for him. Uh, the poor kid, I was kneeing him every single time I cycled. Um, I, also would, I also realized I was starting to cycle with my knees out, which wasn't really safe. Uh, so I was able to get a secondhand hybrid bike, which is more upright. I've already changed the handlebars once, so they're even more upright. And I'm now considering uh, changing out my pedals from clips just to regular in case I have to do a quick emergency stop. Yes, yeah, this bike is also quite a bit smaller, so the crossbar is, is, is lower, so if I have to jump off, again, it's easy, it's fast. It may look a little bit silly, uh, but, but it's, it just feels a little bit safer for me. I, I let them know how I've modified my cycling style. A huge one for me is that I won't cycle on anything now except for separated bike lanes like the ENN Rail Trail, the Goose, the new separated lanes that Victorian Senate are putting in. Um, if, if there isn't a separated lane near me, then I'm, I'm comfortable with back roads with no center line. Anything else, um, like a painted line bike lane, I avoid busy roads, I avoid. Um, if, if I have to, then I would just go on onto the sidewalk and just cycle really slowly or walk and give way to pedestrians. A little bit. I now feel a huge sense of accomplishment, like I've done something with my day and hey, I'm seven months pregnant and I cycled today. So that endorphin high really keeps me going. Um, I can also feel a lot more fatigued. A 25 kilometer bike ride leaves me as exhausted now as a 75 kilometer bike ride used to. Uh, but I've been able to manage that a little bit better just by managing my expectations of what I'm gonna be doing. And again, listening to my body, slowing down and not going quite as far. I haven't had too much of a negative reaction. People are surprised. Um, I think mostly that I'm still cycling. Um, some have questioned the safety aspect, but I've, I've been able to let them know how I've modified my cycling style. Um, uh, most are impressed, I think, that I'm still able to go and I'm still able to do 25 kilometer rides or, or 10K rides. It, it's been a really positive experience. I do, uh, the most immediate one, if I can, 
uh, is the Tour de Victoria is happening in October this year. So if I'm physically able to, I'm gunning for either the 30 or the 60K ride to be determined if that is possible. Um, uh, a little bit later on, I'm really looking forward to getting a trailer and taking this kid all around town, uh, hoping to do some camping with the trailer, just to get him out exploring new spaces at a slower pace than what we would be doing in a car. I think that's gonna be awesome.